dear brothers and sisters i did not do anything about guru purnima i mean most of us don't do anything about it <clears throat> i once happened to be in shahjahanpur with babu ji maharaj and somebody said oh it is good you are here today today is guru purnima so later i asked babu ji maharaj they said today is guru purnima what is it all about he said parthasarthi it is a very auspicious day on which if you are with your guru special things can happen and your progress can be speeded up to any extent i said babu ji does it apply to all he said yes it can but it depends on each abhyasi what they bring here with them we try to clean out but many don't want to change i can change the inner condition the spiritual condition but the external you know the behavior part the character he said that is the abhyasi's duty to convert and change otherwise the inside and outside will not match and he says progress will not continue may even stop so i want to emphasize you see that you know let us take a small instance you go to a swimming pool public pool in most places you are required to take a shower before you enter the swimming pool so that you do not carry your you know dirt with you into the pool and make the water dirty is it it so in sahaj bar golf club when you come for satsang you are expected to give a few minutes devote a few minutes to cleaning by yourself so that your receptivity is improved but i don't know how many do it you are supposed to do it every time you sit for meditation <clears throat> whether here or at home so you see it all depends on you what you take as babu ji said this house has no doors come and take whatever you have the power to take so sahaj bhan has infinite blessings to give us but how much are we able to take with us i remember once i told jokingly you know i was talking to babu ji it was midnight in his bedroom and babu ji was saying you know how sorry he was that people don't appreciate sahaj bhan they don't know what they are missing they come and go they come and go like a you know a bucket without a bottom going into the well coming back empty every time i said babu ji i know <clears throat> from my own little experience of sahaj bhan that finally i think you will be the only person to go to the right world from the four or five thousand at that time who are abhyasis he said yes it looks like it maybe two or three more you see what he said himself plus maybe two or three more now if i am asked to say i mean i would not say because i mean the, the <laughs> the thing is so bleak the value spectrum has not changed people don't want to change they still hold on to their prejudices they still hold on to so many things they should have given up long ago 
you know when you enter into a pond and come out even if you don't scrub yourself and all that some, you must have some cleanliness i do not know what to, you know it is it is very sad to say this especially today on guru purnima day but uh, more and more you know and it depends only on you don't blame sahaj marg don't blame the master don't blame the system here is a notion of bliss infinite bliss and if you still look at the mirror and see what you are and you don't see any change in yourself you look into your heart how many of you have free of prejudices how many of you still you know, go by your caste by your community by your provincial uh, you know what are its attributes and you know opinions you formed about people 50 years ago you still carry you don't even say even if i have not changed he may have changed or she may have changed <clears throat> so how are such people going to progress you see for me i have stopped to think about this because it is quite a situation which causes despair it is like a mother who has 20 children what would you think of her if she says i hope at least one of them will come up is it a mere mother a mere woman in a mere earthly situation saying at least one of them i hope will come up what must gandhari have felt when she saw her hundred children being killed no progressively until duryodhana was left and he too went away and only she and her husband went into vanaprastha what was she have felt just try to imagine you see what your guru must be feeling when he sees same problems the same prejudices same quarrels you know same lies it is very saddening and uh, lala ji maharaj babu ji maharaj <clears throat> you see they have given so much to our to our development our progress i hope in the brighter world you know they don't their heart cannot feel despair otherwise even there they would think you know what is happening you know what is happening in this country in to our abhyasis same people same prejudices same problems transmission going on and on day after day day after day are they even conscious of what they are receiving are they conscious of the efforts the sacrifices that are made on them for them continuing to make day after day if a mother is making sacrifices for her children can you evaluate the sacrifices that are made by your spiritual guides and teachers and the right so at least this guru purnima you know this morning lying in bed i was calculating since i was born on the 24th july in 1927 i could not have seen a guru purnima so today is my 86th guru purnima even if you progress one step you know when i do step i do here but here you do know, you don't even have to walk you are guided you know those of you who may have read the books 
the example of the kangaroo that Babaji gives, where the kangaroo carry, carries its baby in its pouch. Yet we are literally, in every sense, carried. And yet we rebel and fall, rebel and fall, rebel and fall, and then justify by saying, after all, you know, it's a very difficult way. Who says so? It is difficult only if you have to walk. You are not made to walk. If you say I am too weak, he carries you. No, but our prejudices say, no, no, no. I don't want any help because, you know, I prefer to do it myself. And then nothing is happening. So gurus may come and go. India remains what it has remained, more and more corrupt year after year. You know, you can just see today's Indian scene, what it is, it stinks. So what do we do about it? Do we at least see Sahaj Mark? A small society which is at least a little, you know, encouraging, heartening and say, well, at least there's a small nucleus of human beings who are earnestly trying to get out of this mess, this thinking fool of humanity and to evolve out of it. Again, as Babuji said, one or two or three. So I want you all to digest this message. Don't exempt yourself, any one of you, don't exempt yourself from the need to examine yourself sincerely, you know, and to evaluate yourself and at least now to start throwing off all those dirty things that you know you have. It's not as if you don't, you know. And let us hope, you know, by Master's grace, that we will see a better group emerging, you know, out of this and more and more qualifying. And in years to come, we can say, not one and two or three, but by His grace, most of them, if not all of them. I pray for you all. Thank you.